everybody, it's Lon Sybin. We are taking another adventure into the Parrot AR drone with the flight recorder. This time we're going to take a look at uh, Q Ground Control, which is a uh, open source software application for loading in waypoints via your computer into the drone and have it kind of execute those plans uh, automatically. It's really pretty cool. So we're going to walk through the steps it takes to get this working. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've loaded up Q Ground Control, and you see right now that everything is blinking, because what I did is I briefly connected to my drone and then disconnected, uh, mainly because I want to keep the map imagery up. You can cache it and download the tiles and have uh, the ability to read those map tiles offline, but I've been having some issues with it uh, during this demo, so we're in the interest of time, we're just going to have it blink at us a little bit here. So um, what we're going to do with our drone is uh, basically uh, have it uh, go out to this driveway here and come back. We're going to do a real simple flight. So I'm going to start here. Uh, drop a waypoint in just by double clicking and uh, you have a couple of options. The first is a waypoint so it'll fly to that location. You also have the ability to have it um, take off um, and take off we're going to do manually and I'll show you when we get outside how that works. Uh, you can have it loiter, you can set it to loiter for a certain length of time, uh, you can have it land and you can do a couple of other things also that uh, you might want to do. Now the, the key thing that you want to look for it down here um, is the altitude. So right now it's set to 500 meters which is something this thing cannot do. It'll get up as high as it can and that will be the end of your drone. So we're going to uh, make this a much more reasonable six meter height. So we'll do that uh, and then we'll have it fly out here to the driveway um, and maybe we'll have it go up to, whoops, uh, let me scroll down here a little bit. Maybe we'll have it go up to eight meters on its way over there. So we'll have it go there. Uh, have it go down the driveway on a second waypoint. Uh, and again, just keep an eye on your altitude. The last thing you want to do is set it at a really high altitude and lose it. Uh, and then we'll have it come back here. And then we'll go here. And on that last waypoint, waypoint number four, um, we, will have, uh, we will have it land. So let me scroll down to the last uh, point here. And you can see how easy this is. It's really pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and it will land there. Okay, so now we have our waypoints put in. You saw how easy that is. Uh, there was prior versions of the software that had a lot of problems with the mapping and they finally fixed all of it. So uh, the Bing maps really make it a lot easier to get uh, at least a visual cue as to where you're going to send your drone. So now that we have the waypoints built, uh, we have to load them into the flight recorder. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to cut back to our computer here. And uh, as you can see, we have all of our waypoints mapped out. I'm going to, again, check the altitude to make sure that we're not going too high. And we're going to keep it at 9 the whole way. Um, and that is good. So now we are going to go over to Set. And what this is going to do is take all of four of these waypoints and dump them in to the drone. And you can see here it says it's done. We'll go check out our onboard waypoints here and make sure that they're in there. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to do to get it set up. So now what we're going to do is go outside and take this thing for a flight and see what happens. We'll do uh, one flight with the Wi-Fi on, and then I'm going to switch the Wi-Fi off midstream and see if it will continue flying on its own uh, until uh, it lands and finishes its, uh, its course. So let's have a look. Okay, we are back out here with our drone ready to launch and our system here appears to be ready to go. So I like to let it sit for a minute or two just so it can get its coordinates and I think we are pretty much there. So the first thing it's going to do after I take off and start the waypoint action is that it should fly to waypoint zero, which is right over here. So we're gonna hit the launch button and it's, it looks like it's gonna happen this time. There it goes. System two active. And now it's gonna hover there until I send it on its way. Um, so why don't we do that now? Oh, there it goes. It's actually going on its own. Um, oh, oh, oh. Let's see. And if we look on our map here, Link regained to system two after eight seconds. Um, it looks like it's flying over to where it needs to be. <laughs> so here it is. It's flying around. Yeah, it's going on, the, on its course. And it also records while it's going here. So we'll let it, uh, let it do its thing. And as you can see here, it's reached this first waypoint, which is the driveway over there. And now it's going to begin its uh, turn down the driveway. System MAV001 reached waypoint two. And it gives you voice uh, commands the whole time that it's doing it. So uh, now she's flying back. Voltage warning. Now the voltage warning volts. is the battery life. So as you can see now, it's uh, it kind of fell a little bit short of waypoint two, but uh, now it's approaching waypoint three, and as you can see up here, System it is. Voltage warning, ten point three volts. And it's going. System M A System two standing by. And now it has uh, pretty much completed its flight. Voltage warning, and ten point one volts. 
So it completed its, its track here. It did a pretty nice job of that. So we're going to launch it again this time. Uh, and the second flight, we're actually going to kill the Wi-Fi midstream and see what happens. All right, we don't have a lot of battery life left, but we're going to try now the Wi-Fi uh, disconnection. So we're going to launch it again. And as you can see, she's ready to go. And hopefully she won't fly into the house in the process of that. And now she's uh, going off on her route again. But this time we're going to shut the laptop lid and see what happens. And the laptop lid is closed. And it is flying on its path. So laptop closed, no Wi-Fi to the drone. And our drone continues on its course. Now it's cool is, and we'll see if I can get in on it here. Um, what it'll do is blink its little, uh, its little legs when it, uh, let's make sure we don't lose it here. Uh, after it completes a waypoint, it'll blink its little lights. It's a little bit hard in this light to see that, but as you can see here, it's following its course. Completely automated now. The computer is not uh, connected to the drone at all, and it will continue on its course here. So there it goes. It's keeping its, uh, its course. It just went to waypoint two. Laptop is still closed. And now we're going to our final waypoint, and it'll land in just a minute. All right, waypoint has been reached. And here it comes down for its landing. So pretty cool. So there you have it, the Parrot AR drone with the flight recorder, a completely autonomous flight using uh, Q ground control on your Mac or PC. And uh, it's pretty incredible how well it works, but you wanna keep a couple things in mind. Remember when uh, we shut the laptop lid, this thing kept flying. It didn't, didn't care that it no longer had its connection. So uh, you wanna make sure that if you're, you are doing this autonomous flight control that perhaps you load up the, uh, the Parrot app on your phone also so that you have a way to gain, regain control of it should your computer uh, run out of range. The other thing is, is that there's really no safety controls within the software to prevent you from sending your drone off to Europe and have it crash uh, somewhere along the way. So uh, you want to make sure that uh, you really very carefully look at your flight plan, especially that altitude, because remember the default altitude height uh, was 500 meters on, on the uh, software when we went to program the drone's uh, waypoints initially. So uh, keep an eye on that altitude and it's a really uh, just a neat way to, to, to use this uh, drone in an entirely new way. And like I mentioned also when you saw in the video, uh, the flight recorder will automatically record the flight onto its uh, internal memory so you'll be able to pull a record of it uh, off without having to initiate recording first. So uh, Q Ground Control, free software uh, for the Parrot AR drone and its GPS flight recorder. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.